the chat just took a very, very weird turn. <laughs> I might as well see if this works. We'll do this. Shh. <laughs> uh. Do, 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 do. There we go. I'll say, will I ever get to the part I can see? I believe this was me. Which one had more time invested into it? This one. Okay. I don't at all remember what I was doing in this, though. <laughs> All I know is I have Cyclops, Venom, what I can assume is Blade, and the Green Goblin. How the hell do I play? Okay. I had to remember, it's been a while. Ah. Uh, Slight problem, team. The castle's locked down by an energy shield. Nothing gets in or out as long as that shield is functioning. At least this one works better than, uh, uh, what is it? Ultimate Alliance 1. This one at least has all of its stuff work properly. I think I just have some stuttering issues and other problems. But at least all the sounds work. Oh, give me venom. <laughs> like, are those from your, like, from your boss or people you work with, or just random people that are messaging you, telling you, make this person playable? Okay, random people. <laughs> they know you don't have that kind of power, right? I'm just saying. Or maybe you do. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> Come here. I also don't remember if there was a way to manipulate the camera at all. I don't think there was. By the way, this is the, uh... Make Bob playable. Dude, that, that would actually be hilarious. I want to see that for an April Fool's one day. I want to see Deadpool make Bob join S.H.I.E.L.D. And he's basically just a, an average Hydra soldier with with a Bob reskin on it. You <laughs> make the Joker playable. I've seen that a bunch, like people people all going, So who do you want to see in Marvel Avengers Alliance? Uh this person, this person, spawn, Hellboy. Oh yeah. And just kinda sitting there going you know those people aren't from Marvel, right?
Okay, that's that's how I. Whoa, combine your powers. Okay. Use it now. I'm here for you. That was pretty sweet, and I broke something. Do you like program his coming soon thing into the game? Give him moves and everything. <laughs> Okay, that's how I do fusion powers. That's just for the PSP emulator. So we form Voltron. And I'll form the head. Okay, I can't break that. By the way, DW, I did find that one uh, Super Robot Wars game that had Voltron in it, and it wasn't the crappy one that you were talking about, thank God. It was real confusing, though, because they used Voltron's Japanese name. And I was like, who the hell is Galeon, uh, King of Beasts? I'm like, oh, that's Voltron. <laughs> I don't know, that's something I've always enjoyed about like the first Ultimate Alliance was like and I think it I think it even carried over to the second Ultimate Alliance. Hulk is such a big character when he picks up characters, he doesn't pick them up normally. He picks them up and uses them as a weapon. Some was supposed to be the first test and now it's blades so nothing for sure yet since been doing this. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, come on. Venom, come on. You know what? Give me someone who can fly. Well, I killed 666 people. Slight audio tearing there. Hey, I liked the first Ultimate Alliance. And is this one better playable? Um, that's a matter of opinion. Okay, good. Classic Green Goblin, not like Ultimate Monster Hulk Goblin. Oh crap, I'm out of power. <laughs> and now it's not. Weak. You're so weak. I really liked the first Ultimate Alliance. The only downside I hated was that they got rid of the DLC. Like the uh, additional hero and villain pack that gave you access to like... Cyclops. Hell, you can even play as Doctor Doom. Samus Aran. The one thing this game had going for it was uh, the sheer fact that you could play as hero as heroes and villains thanks to the story's plot without having any kind of DLC but the DLC for the 360 was amazing it added carnage as a playable character god i missed that my capture card didn't suck i'd hook it up and play it for you guys
I luckily have that DLC that has, uh, that has Carnage. It was like Psylocke, Carnage, Magneto, and Cable, I think. And it featured a couple of simulation things. It's all done in one big giant screen. What is this? Okay, just like ram someone with it. All right. Well, that was fun. That's the only thing the second one really had going for it was instead of having finisher attacks, like everyone having their own ultimate attack, uh, you could now combine powers together to form fusion attacks. The only bad part was there was only about three different, uh, there were three different variations to it, and only about five, well, about ten different. Uh, versions of it before they just start repeating being the same thing. You've nailed the oh, last yeah. of the generators. Good work. Rendezvous at the courtyard pronto. Yeah. I can imagine Ultimate Alliance being like a major thing for it since wasn't it basically like one of the first games like on newer consoles that decided to combine a bunch of superheroes and whatnot together? I mean, that's what I that's what really drew me to Avengers Alliance and whatnot were was because it reminded me of uh, Ultimate Alliance so much and I enjoyed that. I really loved that game. I mean I have almost all the achievements for that game. Where the hell is the door? Oh, I'm just supposed to exit the way I came. But, uh, speaking of Ultimate Alliance, you know what I really want to find? I want to find a copy of the original X-Men game that wasn't Age of Apocalypse, and I can't remember what it's called. Uh, X-Men... But the first one that started that... Yes, you still level up. Everything is exactly the same, except for what I just told you. Except... Uh, I don't think you equipped, uh, X-Men Legends, thank you, that's it. I don't think you equipped items anymore to certain heroes. Uh, now you actually get, like, a... That's not what I meant to do. But yeah, you... Oops. You go back, what did I just do? How to go back. There we go. But, um... Now I think you get what are basically called boosts. Which are... Fuck. It plays like a Japanese game. Which are basically like emblems that award you bonuses that you can use. And you collect them from beating certain villains or doing certain things. And they get applied to your whole group. The only other plus side this has is it takes place during the Civil War arc. So at one point you are forced to basically join either pro or anti-registration. And it does change the story just a tiny bit. But the major change are the bosses you fight. Uh, such as I think at... At one point, you flip to one other side and fight several other people. It's really cool. And what was what was the other thing? There was another. We're gonna get eaten alive. 
Man those turrets. Unleash hell. One thing I really enjoyed though was whoa. It was very weird. Uh, one thing I, I I super enjoyed though. Yeah. I would say if you're gonna play it, play it on the consoles. Don't play it on the PSP like I am. Or I don't know. That's interesting. I didn't actually know that. I just attacked people just because I needed the silver and whatnot. Also because I think it was a task or something. Like a side task or something. One thing I really enjoyed uh, thoroughly about the game was that it had... Uh, it had Deadpool as a major role in it, so it was hilarious. Or it didn't have him as a major role, but he had a side role in it. In one of the missions on the console version. But yeah, I would say give it another try. All right, no time for celebrate. Move inside the castle. I'll be in contact soon. Both Ultimate Alliances are really fun. Especially if you can get lucky. And if you uh, play Ultimate Alliance, search for what's called the Golden Edition. Which is the only way to get the DLC for that. I'm taking my team after Von Bardas. You lot are gonna find the castle's power generators and shut them down. Oh, goody. Yeah, I liked Ultimate Alliance too. I think though, preferably, I... I think I liked Ultimate Alliance 1 better just because it seemed to have a bigger roster, in my opinion. I don't know if that was true or not. I never actually counted. There we go. Well, that took care of everyone. Also, I liked, uh, I liked the gimmick in Ultimate Alliance 1, where having different outfits actually granted you different buffs and stuff, or different bonuses. It was a nice touch. It actually made me care what outfit I wore. I was kind of sad that never carried over into here. I'll say this much though, if you do have a PSP, try picking up Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1. It's got Captain Marvel in it. Which is like super amazing. This door won't open. We should look for another way through. How about we just blow open the door? No? Okay. Um, T -U -I. I wonder what's around here. Hi there. <laughs> Let's chat. Character in 3D, but game after the sign get done with them, they have to convert them to 2D that way. Character friendly. Yeah. I can imagine that. That makes sense. This statue looks familiar. What, do I have to break this statue or something? Yeah, 
I, I I absolutely love this series. I'm actually I'm actually kind of really sad that they stopped doing games like this. I know they tried doing a similar thing like when uh, the Fantastic Four movie came out. Their tie-in game was like this. I think so was Rise of the Silver Surfer. At least for the PS2. I didn't have a 360 at that time. But, uh... I'm sad they stopped making games like this. I mean, it's an easy... Uh, it's an easy game that you can have couch co-op on. And I miss a lot of couch co-op, because everything is live nowadays, and it's just... Uh, whatever happened to the good old times of sitting down with your friends and just playing games? Much better. But yeah, uh, DW does a bunch of sprite work himself. He can understand how... <laughs> how bad that is, especially since he does it all in MS Paint. How'd that go? Because I'm actually curious about that. That would actually be pretty cool. You know, I just now realized that you're right. Three, that you have like three villains recruitable each chapter and I never realized that till you said it. By the way, am I being loud enough? I can't tell. Also, hang on just a second. 